In this lesson, we're going to be introducing the notion of a quick store, and we're going to talk about the quick reactive rendering system in general. So in our previous lesson, we have tried to implement here a simple component. When this button gets clicked, we are going to show the next message here in the array, starting with the first position of the array. As you have seen, this doesn't work. Quick does not support mutable state. So how can we implement this simple functionality in Quick? Well, all data that goes into a template in Quick should, in principle, go inside a Quick store. A store is a placeholder where the data of a component should be kept and you can create a store for your component using the Use Store API from Quick. We're going to give this an initial value for the store. We're going to add it an index property and we're going to fill it in with zero. And if you check here with Control Shift P, the type of the store, you're going to see that this already has a type with an index property of type number. So it's like this store property is an object with an index property with the value number. If you check this here with autocompletion store dot, you're going to see that you have available the index property. So the store object works just like a plain JavaScript object. You can access its properties and use them here in the template. Let me show you how we will do this. Here we're displaying the messages at a given index. So let's go ahead and let's access the store and let's call here dot index. As we can see, we have printed out the message. And here in the click handler, we are going to increment here the store index property. So again, we're going to access store.index and we're going to increment the index property. As you can see, you can actually mutate the properties of this store object. This is not an immutable object. For all intents and purposes, this looks just like a plain object that we would define like this. For example, if I would define here an object using this syntax here, and I would initialize here the property index to zero, this object here seems to have, at least here at compile time, the exact same behavior as the store. So it's very convenient. You can just mutate it directly. And with this, we have our first example of a store up and running. So as you can see, we are just mutating here one of the properties in the click handler. Let's now try this out here in the browser window. So we have here the first message in the messages array, hello world. And if we click here on next message, we're going to see that the index gets incremented and the next message gets shown as expected. If I click beyond position three, nothing will be printed out as expected. So as you can see, it looks like that in quick, as long as you store the data that you need inside a store, you can mutate it freely and Quick will know exactly when to call again the rendering function. And notice that the reactive rendering system of Quick doesn't even have to call the whole rendering function in order to update a component. The Quick reactive rendering system has fine-grained rendering capabilities. So it's possible to update just one element of the template directly in the DOM without having to call the whole component rendering function. So as you can see, there is a optimization mechanism at play here. Quick is trying to avoid calling the full render function as much as possible. If there is a way to update the DOM directly in a fine-grained way, Quick is going to do that and it's going to avoid a full component render. So depending on the concrete situation, Quick is either going to call the full component render function or it's going to be able to update the DOM in a fine grained way. But the question is, how does that even work? How does Quick know that the data in the store has changed? How does Quick decide what to update in the DOM? 
in order to understand this we are going to print out here to the console the value of the store so that we understand exactly how this reactive rendering system works let's switch back here to the browser and trigger here a rendering of our component so we're going to click here on next message and now we have the store printed out here to the console and as we can see the store object is actually a javascript proxy object a proxy object works exactly like a normal mutable object with the added functionality that anyone can subscribe to changes in properties of that proxy so that's how quick knows that it needs to re-render the component quick is going to see going back here to our code that this store is being used here inside the function and so quick is going to subscribe to changes here to the index property or to the whole store in general and then quick will know that when we mutate here the store via the proxy quick will know that this property has been changed and so this component needs to be re-rendered and so the rendering function is going to get called again and the new data is going to be displayed to the user on the screen notice that in many situations quick is actually not going to have to call the whole component render function in order to update something that has changed on the component view in many cases quick is going to be able to optimize this and make the change directly in the dom without having to call the full component render function i'm just talking here a bit about how the rendering system works so that you understand that there is a rendering system under the hood that is reactive that is based on proxies and that it tries to update the dom with the least amount of work as possible so the reactive rendering system is trying to do fine grain updates on the dom and updating for example just one expression inside the template and only if it cannot do that optimization that fine grain re-rendering will it fall back on calling the whole component render function again so as you can see it's nice to know that the framework is trying to as much as possible avoid unnecessary work and re-render things in the most optimal way possible but also in a transparent way for you you don't have to think as an application developer about how the rendering system works while you are developing your application the only thing that you have to remember is to store all your data that the component uses inside the store and quick will know exactly when to re-render your component and notice that if your component uses input properties such as for example this component here you don't need to add the props of your components inside the store in order to track them property objects are proxies as well and quick will subscribe to changes in those proxies and update the template automatically just like we do here as store so you can think of your props object as an implicit store that works exactly in the same way as if you would be using the use store api as you can see the quick reactive system is super easy to use everything happens like you are mutating a normal javascript object but under the hood quick is using proxies everywhere in order to determine when to re-render each component only if necessary so you get the best of both worlds you have the simplicity of mutating javascript like objects combined with the optimal performance of only re-rendering exactly what needs to be updated let's now introduce another feature of the quick framework which is the use context api that is closely related and used usually in conjunction with use store 